And now we are back with two of our mompreneurs. We have Dion Christensen with Nib and Pixel, along with Kim Cook with Post Studio Projects. Oh, and you know, ladies, we love a good craft project yes. here at Houston Life. We're terrible at them, but you're going to try to make us better, right? <laughs> That's what we're here for. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so this is a like a DIY like watercolor flower wreath. That's what you call them? Yes, correct. Um, so what happens is Kim does the laser cutting of the flowers in her studio, but she came up with the design that you can cut yourself at home. And then I teach the watercolor flower painting, so it's a nice dimensional piece. Well, and for oh, people so who... Pretty. So you personally drew these flowers out, but on your website, I understand you have a downloadable PDF. Correct. Voila, the magic. Oh. If you want to just print this out at home, you can totally do that. Yes. Cool. Okay, so once we have this either drawn out ourselves or printed, then what? Okay, well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually show you guys how to paint a quick leaf. We don't oh. have time to paint a flower, but I'm going to show you how to paint a leaf. So who wants to be the painter? Um, me. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we we're aiming for this. Well, I'm going to show you one. You can cut. You okay. can do the cutting, because you weren't that good last time, so. <laughs> oh, that is Wait so Wait till she rude. sees my artwork. Okay, the, the trick to doing painting leaves is you want to use a round brush, because round brushes have a pointed tip, and they do all the work for you. So what I, this is just super rough. rough. Normally, I would just paint a... Like a stem paint or a stem. something. Okay. So you want to paint let's a get stem. To, let's get point one first. Okay, so just, just like over go here? Go ahead and do a stem. Yep, just do a stripe like I did. Here, I want to paint one while she's doing okay. it. I want to get in on it. Okay, and then you're going to go through and do little leaves. But that's like not how you do it. Side. No, that's slow wrong. down. You oh. only have to do it in one stroke. You just have to what? use the tip, and then it naturally goes to the shape of a leaf. Oh, cool. See, it's just one, like tip, but tip, but, and it naturally goes to... That didn't work very well. I don't know if anybody at home can <laughs> see this. We'll do our best to okay. hold this up. Tip. And then go to the butt, like the belly of the brush. Go deeper. So, like so you're pressing to make the yes. leaf. Yes. There well, you go. I'll just go back and fix these a little bit. Wide enough. It's right there. Yeah. And a little bit more. normally I would show you more texture and how to get different gradients in there. Oh, that one was pretty that good. pretty. And then what you would do, just to give it some other texture, get some yellow and like dot go. it in a little bit. Go okay. for it. Just to give it some texture. So the whole point is then we would fill the page with a bunch of... Yeah. So basically you want to have a page filled like this okay. with leaves or flowers. <laughs> pretty. Okay, and then what? Okay, so really then pretty. what you would do is you would cut out, you would paint flowers, which I'm actually teaching a workshop at Post Studio on watercolor flowers. So if you want to learn how to make watercolor flowers, check our workshop. Little plug there. But um, what you would do is you would cut out the shapes, and Kim actually has on her website how to do these guys. So if you want to move on to Kim, cool. she can show you okay. those. So this is like how you'd create a spiral rose type of flower here. I love that you guys are sharing this kind of stuff on your website. This is really cool, stuff that you can do at home. So it prints out and looks like this, but then you take scissors and cut out all the white part. Yeah. So it's essentially a spiral here. OK. Yeah, which you can do that if you want, or you can start with one of these. and. What I did, I kind of glued these to start to get a little bit of the round going and holding in place. Okay. I'm going with the one that's glued over here. Oh, and then you just <laughs> start. And then you just start rolling it. Do I need, just roll? That's just it? Just keep rolling. And do you have like, to. no trick to it? Pinch the bottom like you're trying to fan no, out the flower? No. Really? Just right. keep rolling until you get to the end and can't go any farther. I know. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. It's like being uh, back in art class in school. <laughs> And this, this is a good way to uh, get the kids to be quiet for um, 30 seconds, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Roll your rose, go. Yeah. Okay, so once it's all wrapped together. Okay, once it's wrapped together, you want to kind of cup it in your hand and let it slowly unravel. Okay. And then, so you've got <gasps> something like that. Here, hold that up just that to the so front so pretty. we can see that. Wait, I got to get to the end because I want to I wanna do that. Essentially, the finished product looks like uh, this little yeah. rose. Okay, am I far enough along to do this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can so what did just, you do? Just hold it in your hand mm -hmm. and put that in the center. Okay. And then just kind of put your other hand over it and let that unravel. And then the whole idea is that we're gluing it onto this. Uh, yeah, so once you have your rose. Oh, look, it's starting. You would put glue under here and glue this together. But for our purposes, glue's a little bit much. But. I got to show off my rose. But the whole <laughs> idea, though, is so we're going to do a combination of these little rosettes you've made yeah. and these watercolored flowers. Oh, so and then pretty. how do you use this around the home, Kim? 
ask, well, you can put it on display in a little stand or have it as a wall piece. Um, I've even seen some people go so far as to make a really cool card. You can do like names and stuff too. These. They would look cool bad. too, like in the shape of letters. Yeah. Like the letter A and then do it on big like kids' nurseries, back to the mumpreneur thing. But cool. Yeah. Well, so Kim cute. and Dion, thank yeah. you so much for stopping by. Thank you. And by the way, speaking of mompreneurs, uh, we got a great one also coming up. Our next guest, she's got her hands full with four children. She also runs the gardening business Rooted Garden. You've seen her right here on Houston Life. She's going to help us dive into garden design right after the break. 